Hey, today I'm going to show you how to copy a file to a remote server using the Mac OS X terminal. First of all, to access my remote server, I'm going to need to be on my company's VPN so that I can get to the internal network where my remote server is placed in the data center. As you can see here, I'm already logged into a VPN session. Next, I need to open up a terminal. Uh, I use, open up terminal using Spotlight. I'm going to be opening up two terminal windows, one for my personal Mac and one for the remote server. Make these a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Um, now my remote server is running VMware ESXi, so it might when I log into it might be a little bit funky. Uh, people aren't used to what the command prompt might look like, so don't be freaked out. Um, I already placed a, a file on my desktop to make it easier to access when I'm navigating to it on my personal computer. Uh, let's go ahead. All you really need to know is a couple basic commands for this ls which means list cd which means change directory um, scp which is going to be the secure copy and also S ssh which is to get into a secure shell onto my remote server um, on my personal mac which is right here i'm going to go ahead and navigate to my desktop as you can see it's right there so go ahead and cd desktop and a list to see what's on my desktop. The file that I want to transfer over is going to be right here. This file is a little funky. It's um it's an offline bundle file for a three-ware uh, RAID controller, so my ESXi will work. The operating system ESXi will work on. A super micro server so you don't really need to worry about that but it's just the file I picked kind of random but whatever over here I'm gonna go ahead and want to get into my remote server using SSH it's gonna prompt me for a password in a second and I'm in Okay, so over on the remote server, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you where I want to place this file. Um, I'm going to go and do a list just to see. And it's going to be under a, a bundles folder I created in the, the, the data store one directory. If you're not familiar with ESXi, it's going to be kind of hard. But, it, you know, it's, the secure copy is just a, it's a normal way to transfer files from one computer to the, to the other. So here we go. Go ahead and do a list, see what's under there. Maybe get a typing. So my data store is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and change into that. Yeah. Okay, list, and you can see my bundles folder is right there. So pretty much over here, we're on the server, we're just going to see if the, it actually worked, if the transfer actually worked. So back to my personal computer, I'm going to go ahead and type in the following command, which is the secure copy command. And so I'm doing root. Root is where I want this file to be. That's And then I type in my address, go ahead and do a colon. And this is where people get a little bit confused, but you're going to have to navigate, pretty much show where you want it to be placed under directory, under directory, under directory, and then a folder. So it look like, it looked like what I just showed you over here. This is how we got to it. This is what you want to be placed on the personal, personal computer. 
I'm going to be VMFS, then volumes, data store one, and then we're going to do bundles. Go ahead and press enter. It's going to prompt you for a password to get into that root, to get into the remote server's root. Um, We'll go ahead and accept and it will give me an ETA of how the, oh, it already, terrific. That was pretty quick. So uh, I was going to show you guys an ISO, but I have such a slow connection here at home that it would take a couple hours. So I just want to do a quick and easy way. Uh, this is my first uh, V blog, I guess you could say, or instructional video. So I'm a little uh, all over the place. Sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, See if it went into the bundles folder. Let's do a list. Yep, looks like it's right there. So uh, that's pretty much how you transfer a file from one computer to the next. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's how you. <laughs> that's how you do a secure copy. Anyway, thank you for your time.